A year ago, I released a video about using Waze, but one comment made me want to revisit the app. While I felt like I had covered the features well, as Joyce C pointed out, I probably didn't do the best job of explaining how to use Waze. With this in mind, this video is a walkthrough of using Waze to plan a trip and use some of the features along the way. As I covered in my previous video about Waze, it's the ideal app if you're a regular commuter or have to make regular journeys using a vehicle. There's a wealth of features that streamline and shorten your journey by finding alternate routes based on the traffic information, plus contributions by other Waze users or Wazers will potentially alert you to the latest travel developments. In this video, I wanted to give you a walkthrough of how to use Waze from setting a destination to using all the features that will help you and other Wazers get from A to B seamlessly. This will seem pretty obvious, but the first step after opening the app is to set your destination, and thankfully the user interface makes that very straightforward. You're also able to save your regular or favourite destinations after entering the name or address by tapping the star. Now to save you the extra time of typing in your destination, you can tap Save Places for future trips for quick access. You're also able to set your home and work as the main save locations with their own dedicated icons. A nice touch is the ability to reorder the save locations by hitting edit. Now you can tap and hold the save locations and drag them into your preferred order. Now you have your trip programmed in, Waze will give you a few seconds to tweak your trip before launching the navigation automatically. If you tap any of the options, it will stop the automatic launch. At the top of the screen, you're presented with some key information such as the current time and the distance to your destination and the estimated travel time. Beneath that are the options to add a stop, which will insert a detour into your overall trip. You also have quick shortcuts for gas stations, places to eat and parking at your destination. For my trip, I wanted to get a coffee along the way, so I programmed in a stop at Tim Hortons. Parking option is a unique cool feature even over and above what's available in Google Maps. While you can still search for parking in Google Maps at your destination, you have to undertake many more steps outside of planning a route. Waze enables you to locate and redirect your journey to the nearest convenient parking lot as part of the process of planning your journey. It's not perfect, missing some of the smaller parking lots that exist, but it's definitely helpful if you're traveling to a location for the first time. Another unique feature in Waze is the ability to assess the best time to leave based on traffic conditions throughout the day. If you're not in a particular rush, you can tap on the option and scroll through the time of day. There's a visual representation of the commute time, which makes it easier to choose a departure time if you want to avoid sitting in your car longer than you have to. It even gives you the ability to choose another day to travel if your journey isn't time critical. Tapping on the routes will present you with different routes that you can take with different estimated travel times, with a visual summary of any potential delays or hazards along each route. It would have been nice if Waze enabled you to tap on the icons to learn the details of the instance, but if you tap on the speech bubble on the main navigation, you can cross-reference the icons to learn what each one means. However, hopefully Waze will integrate the different icons on the overview screen in the future. Finally, the last option is the ability to share your trip with any contacts on your phone or use other apps to keep friends and family abreast of your movements. Before you set off, there are a number of other options you might want to change. Tapping on the speaker icon opens up all the sound options. The three basic settings are to have the route guidance off, only alerts for incidents or full guidance with turn-by-turn -turn instructions. Beneath that, you can choose which voice you want to read out the turn-by-turn -turn directions. These range from standard voices through to the fun licensed options from famous actors, shows and movies. The third option enables you to call up detail menus for both of the previous sections, but also control the guidance volume, so you can choose how loud the turn-by-turn -turn directions will be over any music or podcasts that you're also playing from your phone. This is a helpful setting if you want to fine-tune the balance or would like more prominent notifications as you drive. Other useful features include denying ways from using your stereo if you're connected via Bluetooth. Using this option will only play audio and notifications from the app through your phone speaker. Also, you can set whether you want ways to be muted during phone calls so as not to interrupt your conversation. One feature that might be most useful of all is the ability to use Google Assistant with Waze. Now you can simply use the trigger phrase to access Waze hands-free. 
This is great for checking your progress simply by asking, what's my ETA? What is my ETA? You'll arrive at 10.02 a.m. Paid promotions are a major part of Waze's business model. Brands pay Waze to have the interactive advertisements displayed along your route. These take the form of little digital billboards that you can tap on to get more information or add to your current route. Ads are also presented to drivers in the app when your car comes to a stop at traffic lights, for instance. It's a clever feature to avoid distraction while driving, and then, when stationary, the banner will pop up on your screen. Finally, the last major feature is the various ways you can contribute to the Waze community and fellow drivers. By tapping on the speech bubble, you can call up a sub-menu which lists a number of different types of instants that you can add to your current journey as you experience them. These will be shared publicly on the Waze map for all users to see. These range from being able to report traffic congestion through to updating the gas prices of any pumps within your vicinity. The slightly more unusual feature includes being able to add places of interest and report issues with the map itself, such as a missing road or a new road. One completely unique feature is called Map Chat. Here, you can leave a public note on the map for other Wazers. For instance, you can add more colourful commentary on something that is happening, such as a public event. A map chat bubble will be left on the map and will disappear within a few hours. There's also a roadside assistance option. Here, you can seek professional help from the list of companies partnered with Waze, or you can put out a request for fellow Wazers who might be able to come to your rescue. Achievements in Waze add a fun, extra gamification layer into the app's interactions. Wazers are rewarded with virtual points for different types of interactions and contributing to the community. These points take the form of little virtual candies that pop up on the road along your route. As you drive through the location, you collect the points. As you accrue points, you can unlock new avatars for your public persona for other Wazers to see on their maps. You're also automatically added to a global leaderboard which you can review buried deep within the settings of the Waze app. There's no material benefit to the achievements, but it's quite fun to participate. I hope this video gives you a detailed and useful look at Waze and helps you get the most out of the app. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and as always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on the connected home and personal technology.